Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through some of the problems on the 8b assignment. Okay, uh, number one, consider the exponential function y equals 4 to the x. Copy and complete the table of values. Okay, so first thing, 4 to the x. So if we plug in negative 3 for x, um, we'll end up getting a value negative 2. They've already given us negative 1, 0, 1. Then we also figure out 2 and 3. Now, <clears throat> this can become um, a much simpler task if you have a graphing calculator or you can actually use Desmos as well if you do not have a graphing calculator at, at home. Um, here's what I like to do. I'm gonna, in the y equals, I'm going to put 4 to the x power. Okay. Now we can look at the graph, which we're going to end up um, graphing this thing anyway so we kind of get a look at it but what we really want to look at is the table so i'm going to actually do second and then table usually your table is defaulted to go up by like ones and it usually starts at zero or whatever uh, good news is i can scroll up or down as far as i want to to see whichever values i want and then also i can change the table like what the table changes by each time here but for right now it's changing by one and that's what we want. So negative three, look, negative three is point zero one five six. Six, okay. And then we can then look on there for negative two and that's point zero six two five. That's, those are all zeros except for that's a six. Okay, point zero six two five. And then we just need two and three. Two is 16 and three is 64. Okay, so make our life a little bit easier. You can certainly plug it into, plug all these in and end up getting your answers. But um, I'm kind of thinking smarter, not harder might work on this in this case here. So we have copied and completed our table of values. Complete the following statements. If X is increased by one, so as X is going up this way, what happens to Y? So every time we're increasing by one, so it's probably easiest to look at with one here. So to go, I was at one, we're at four, and then to go to two, we're up now to 16, and then to go to three, we're up now to 64. If you'll notice here, we are, y is being multiplied by four, okay? Probably should spell it multiplied by four, but uh, I'm just being lazy right now, okay? Now, if <clears throat> going the other direction, if now x is decreasing, okay, if x is decreased by 1, the value of y is, so as we're going this way, look, we're going from 4 down to 1, 1 to 1 fourth, 2 as a fraction, that's going to be 1 over 16, that's going to be 1 over 64. So now we are dividing by 4 each time, okay? Um, so we have done B as well. Let's see, C, use your table of values to draw a graph of Y equals four to the X. So let's draw ourselves a little graph here. Okay. All right, so if we're gonna graph this thing here, we've got negative three is that 0 0.015, it's like pretty much right on the line there, right? Negative 2 is 0 0.0625, pretty much right on the line, just a smidge above, right? Negative 1 is at a quarter, so that's just barely up. 0 is at 1. 1 is at 4. 2 is at 16, so maybe way up here or above. And then 3 is at 64, so that's way, way, way up there. Now we connect all the dots, this red line is supposed to run right along the top of this here but not actually touch it and then off it goes like so okay so that's the that's the sketch of our graph and if you'll remember <clears throat> excuse me back here look there's our graph okay it looks pretty similar so that's a good sign all right so we've drawn our graph copy and complete as x goes to infinity okay so let's do let's do this. So as x goes to infinity, so we'll go to the right here. X is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So as we're going this way, what's happening to the y value? The y value is going up super fast. So the y value is also going towards infinity. Okay? As x goes to negative infinity, that's going 
this way it's going to the left it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller because here's the negative numbers there's negative infinity off the page forever that way positive infinity is off the page forever to the right there so as it's going this way our y value is getting closer and closer to zero okay and then so we've done that one and then e says find the horizontal asymptote of y equals 4 to the x. So it gets really, really close to 0, but it's never going to actually equal 0. So that is our horizontal asymptote. Is, um, it crosses through the y-axis, so I remember that that is y equals uh, 0 is the horizontal asymptote. And the way you can um, tell that from an equation is this is y equals 4 to the x, and whatever number out here is your asymptote. Guess what? There's no number out there. So really that's zero. So that zero right there is going to be this zero right here. That's your horizontal asymptote. Okay. Okay. Um, number four, construct a table of values for this x equals negative three, two, one, all the way up to three for the function y equals two to the x and y equals one half to the x. Um, comment on your answers and then explain why two to the negative x equals one half to the x power. So let's make our life easy and find those in here. Okay. So we got y equals, we're going to change that 4 to the x into 2 to the negative x. Oops. Let's try that again. 2 to the negative x. That's going to be our first graph there. Okay, so we can hit graph just to kind of see what it looks like. Here it comes, coming down there and diving in. Okay, so then it says construct a table of values. So if we want to look at the table, we do second graph, which gives us table. So negative three is at eight. So let's see, let's make ourselves a table of values here. Oops. So for part I here, we got Y equals two to the negative x so we got negative three negative two negative one oops not negative ten but negative one zero one two and three right so we've got our table and now we're just going to fill in all of our values accordingly so negative three we already saw was at eight right and then we got four two one and point five four two one 0 0.5 or 1 half. That'll help us understand some stuff here in a little bit. 0.25, which is a quarter, and 0.125, which is an eighth. Okay, that's um, that's for i. So for i i here, we've got y equals 1 half to the x. Okay, so we'll put that into Y as well. Now, here's, I, I'd like to kind of take a look at this after we're all done. So I'm going to actually just go and turn this graph off. So I do that. And if it's not, doesn't, isn't flashing, then it's not going to, it's not going to graph. And now we have parentheses one divided by two all to the X power. Okay, so now it's just going to only graph this one here. Okay, so this graph looks like looks pretty similar to the other one right comes in there we're actually more interested in the table and look eight four two one point five it's the exact same thing that is the same as this here okay and then also if we go back and we turn this other graph back on oops there we go highlight that and then graph it then look, we will have, there actually, it's, not, oh, there we go. There's the blue graph. That's the first graph. That's this one, y equals 2 to the negative x. And then guess what? y equals 1 half um, then gets graphed right over the top of that as well. So that's the exact same graph. Okay, so explain why 2 to the negative x equals 1 half to the x. So let's look at this, 2 to the negative x. Why does that equal 1 half? to the x. So if it's 2 to the negative x, that's the same thing as 1 over 2 to the positive x, right? And now we have y. How is that equal to 1 half to the x? Because right, because really this is 1 to the x and 2 to the x, right? But this is just 1 over 2 to the x. 
But if you think about it, 1 to any power will still just equal 1. So we can actually put 1 to the x over 2 to the x equals 1 half to the x. And then really we can factor that x out, the power. So we have 1 half to the x equals 1 half to the x. Okay, so they are the exact same thing. Okay. All right, um, that's all we have for the 8B um, assignment. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.